but what might be an option for you? There's a medication. I don't know if you've um, seen it called lamotrigin. Have you ever heard yeah, of that one? Yeah, I was reading. Yeah, that. I was reading about it last night. And um, please let me know if there are any issues with the medication through the duty worker. Okay. And well done in your job. That's really, really fantastic news. Yeah. I'm really pleased for you. Yeah, it's different. Hopefully, you won't be contacting me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. You take care. Yeah. I will. Bye bye. 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 Hi, it's Lydia. I'm just wondering if my prescriptions have been sent. Uh, let me just double check. Go around in a minute. Hi Lydia, I just double checked. Um, so your prescriptions will be every be ready every Tuesday after one o'clock to collect. All right. Because okay. you come in on Mondays, or you can just be all some stuff. So you can pick up every Tuesday after 1 o'clock. Hey Aussie guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia. And today we are doing a life update video. I haven't sat in on one of these in a bit and quite a lot is changing at the moment. Good changing as well. So let's get on with this. So I am actually lowering my dose of quidhyphen and I'm going to be starting Lamotrigine next week. I am stopping my morning dose of quetiapine and I'm starting on 25 milligrams of lamotrigine and then in the evening I'm still on my 200 of quetiapine. As the dose of the lamotrigine goes up, we're going to try and lower the quetiapine as much as we can. I still will need it to help me sleep but that is the plan at the moment which is a big change because I personally think going on to a mood stabiliser is the best decision I've made it was my suggestion all my other meds stay the same so i'm still on clonazepam still on zopiclone still on perephazine still on venlafaxine still on all of that but i am coming down the dose on my gratiope and which is good news and scary news good news i'm actually going to be able to lose some weight finally gratiope and I me mean, have got a very odd relationship um it does help me but it also makes me worse with my eating disorder and since starting to take her i put on a lot of weight and I don't really feel very comfortable in myself so knowing that I'm coming off that and that I'm just gonna feel more comfortable again is a big relief. The scary thing is is I've never been on Lamotrigine and I have I did read about it I've got the BMA drugs and pharmaceutical book I also have psychiatric drugs explained I've got the bipolar survival guide and I've got the ICD which is the UK's guidelines for mental health. I have a lot of books on mental health and if you guys want a video on all my mental health books I will do that. In terms of my medication I'm feeling optimistic but terrified. I have read a lot about the side of Lamotrigine and the one that scares me is the rash. I am a bit afraid about it so if you, any of you guys have been on Lamotrigine or on Lamotrigine and have any advice I would really appreciate it and I think so. watch so many videos on people having this bad reaction and this rash that's like dangerous that has me scared. I guess we'll see how that goes. So for anyone who doesn't know, Lamotrigine is an anti-convulsant but it is used as a mood stabiliser. I have had issues with migraines for around three years now. I have a pretty much constant one. I'm going to take an Almatriptan and aspirin. Aspirin is prescribed because my GP likes knowing what I have. So, there's that. I'm prescribed aspirin, um, I'm prescribed. But the, th the big issue that I've had since it all started, especially, was I had this lump on my head this side, and this came like about three years ago when my migraine started. And it's concerned me for a while, but it's taken until recent for me to be like, I think there's something wrong there. Because migraines don't usually have physical forms and the fact that I have got this lump on my head has been concerning me for a while and it's taken me a while to get a GP to actually listen to me because every time I go and see a GP it's like oh how are you feeling how's your mental health you know it's, they never actually listen when I say migraine um, but one of my GPs did and referred me to neurology I'm waiting on that appointment obviously everything's going back to normal and hopefully that referral will come through soon I am afraid of that that is something that I'm flat out terrified of and I keep saying it because 
it could be so many things but not many of them things are good well no none of them things are good it's not good to have a lump on your head and chronic migraines but that's just not good so i am afraid about that referral but it needed to happen and i'm glad it has because i can get answers and maybe resolve it the next thing is i work a full-time job now which where the hell does that come from my name's Lydia. i'm calling on behalf of the nhs test and trace program and i work for test and trace which is the nhs system for testing and tracing people who have been in contact with the coronavirus i work where i contact people who have been in contact with someone who has a confirmed case so that's fun i get to make phone calls and sometimes get screamed at thank you for watching the video and yeah like i said if you've got any advice on lamotrigine it will be appreciated uh i'm right up on it i know it like i know the exact chemical compound for it but i am also terrified about starting it so any tips or advice would be really appreciated thank you for watching and i'll see you guys tomorrow with a new video peace